Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. Between innings, I was able to discuss the current state of the Giants lineup with their manager, Gabe Kapler. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. A lot of their outs have come from weak contact and strikeouts as a result of chasing pitches outside the strike zone. He said it's going to be extremely important for them going forward to be more selective with their swings and force the opposition to throw more strikes. Thank you, Heidi. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to nope. score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. One ball, no strikes to count. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. 2-0 and oh now. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A-B, he went down on strikes. Now a pitch swung on and missed. It's 2-1. and one. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Hit sharply on the ground. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through oh, such a deep done. lineup? I mean, even the eight, it's nine good. hole hitters are solid Tough big league players. Yeah. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you could swing the bat. At the plate, Justin Turner, as he'll send a ground ball down to third. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Hey, guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right now here, that's but that's his second knock right of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking, we really avoided a worse fate. Stepping in now, Mike Trout. Hot shot down the line. But this is foul for the first strike. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. The one-two. Two balls, two strikes. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. Now the payoff pitch home. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Standing in now, Willie Mays, as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. The 1-0 is taken for okay. ball two. Mays, a former New York Met, he became a member of this team after signing as a free agent earlier this season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer-term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one-year deal, and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi-year he's been looking for come offseason. The 2-1 home. 
Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. One there. On to the pitcher covering, and it's in time. A double play, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on two base hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Yankees four, and the Giants nothing. Digging in, Frank Thomas we as we move Yankees. past the halfway point the in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Right. First pitch on its way. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Well, he's still out there to start the fifth inning, but it's been a real grind of a start for him. The pitch count is much higher than he'd like it to be, so it's hard to imagine him working really deep into this game. In there, one and one. And he'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red piece oh, of cheese amazing. middle of the plate, and he didn't miss it. No way. Arantado. Now here's the Giants manager making that slow walk to the mound. And he's going to make a change as that'll be all for his starter Chris Sale. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings as this will not go down as a quality start that's for sure. Madison Bumgarner takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Madison Bumgarner. Here's Nolan Arenado as he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. The one and zero oh delivery. Hey! The count one and one. Hits are even right now at five aside. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Pretty sure there wasn't any ill will behind that pitch, considering he has two strikes on him. Just got away from him, from what I could tell. Ready with the two and two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that two two pitch there but kind of overdid it with a pitch that high. It's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. And the payoff pitch and he misses ball four so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Ramirez. First pitch of the at bat. Little traffic on the base pass right here, but one pitch away from getting a double play and getting right back into control. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. And it looks now like a right-hander's getting hot in the Giants' bullpen.
Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Ball left outside. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. This one's down to third. Turner for one. Relay to Olsen, and they turn the double play. Oh, that's a rally killer right there. They were in great shape with two on and nobody out. But the double play is the last thing you want in that situation. Just a runner at third now, but there's two outs. Stepping in, Mitch Garver, runner in scoring position with two gone. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Here's a moment where you got to be a great teammate. Pick your buddy up who just grounded into a double play. I don't care what it looks like, single, gapper, homer, just get that guy in from third and get your team back motivated again. And it's quickly 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there and the inning is over. The Yanks leave one, but they hold a four to nothing lead. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what is he doing? He shows up. Rookie of the hey. year. MVP. I mean, get in line. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The one two. Ball two. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Full count now, three and two. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas, so. When you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. Line hard toward right center. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Stepping up now, Pete Alonzo. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball one. And a good fastball there, but this Count just misses all. the zone for ball one. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. The 1 0 home. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Dozier moving back. A leap, but it's off his glove. And now over the wall. And this is going to be ruled a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. As they get on the board, it's 4 to 1 now. When this one left the bat, I thought it was going to be an easy out to right, but it just kept carrying and carrying, and the right fielder gave it a great effort and almost brought it back, but no dice. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound. 
And a change is in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. He'll wind up lasting just one out into the sixth inning, but he'll leave with the lead and was effective in this one. Trevor Bauer, a six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Trevor Bauer. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. No hits to this point. Now the 1 0. Hit well again down the right field line. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Grounded back up the middle. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. And he's safe. He's safe. So some now real that problems out there number that number time number as it'll wind up in E7. Into the box, Emo Jimenez, as he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. And that's inside, looked like the slider, and it's 2 and 0. From the belt, kicks and deals. Got himself a 2 0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect 2 and 1. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. And oh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. Fouled off. Just hung in there on that one. The 2-2 two -two on the ground to the right side. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Boy, Dero, when you're starting to swing it like this team, it doesn't matter. They bring in a new relief pitcher, right? And he gets greeted with back-to-back -back base hits. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want to do. In today's day and age of bullpen down your throat, you very rarely see back-to-back -back knocks when these guys are throwing smoke. That's one of the keys, too. When you come in facing guys out of the bullpen, they're being taught to throw strikes early, and they're taking advantage of it. He's throwing strikes, and they're jumping all over him. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at 1-1. One and one. Has a look. Now the pitch. And he comes back with a fastball. 1-2 and two now. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Runners are at first and third, one away. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. And this is a strike three called. Oh, caught a break there. Two away. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take. But on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Digging in to try it again, Gary Sanchez. He's one for two in this one. From the stretch. And that misses inside, 1-0. Oh. Now 
Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. The 1-1. One, one. Struck him out. You talk about pulling a rabbit out of your hat. He gets out of the jam and the side is retired. Giants get one back on the solo homer. Bye bye baby. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. The Yankees four and the Giants one. Now at the plate, Fran Moraes. He'll begin things here against Madison Bumgarner. The left fielder. First pitch on its way. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Her ball close, but it's one and one. Pitch on the way. Line toward right center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Wow, not no sure what the pitcher 13. was thinking. Serving up a fastball right over the heart of the plate. His eyes got as big as saucers as he blasts this thing, putting himself in the scoring position to start off the inning. Manny Machado will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. He's set. Here it comes. Hey. Good pitch there down below the zone got him to go after it. And this one's in the dirt. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there and now he's only 90 feet away. Sixth inning, four to one is our score. And this is swung on and missed, and boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. The bat. The right field. Hunter Dozier digging Hunter. in now. 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. First offering on its way. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Bumgarner ready with the 0-1. I got a ball, one strike. Two and one. Two ball, one strike. Two and two to Hunter Dozier. Popped him up. Olsen over to his left. Makes the play and there are two gone now. Two away now in the Yankees sixth. And the switch hitter Jonathan VR will be the next to bat. Bumgarner sets. Here comes the first pitch. Yeah. Two outs here with a runner at third. Cutter low. One and one.
in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. One left for the Yankees as they hold on to a four to one lead. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Justin Turner. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2 0 now. Now a cut fastball finds the target, 2 1. Pitch on the way. Shin high, that's taken for a ball. Trouble waiting next as you see Mike Trout in the on deck circle. Heading out towards shallow right. Dozier has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. Next to bat for the Giants, Mike Trout. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. A pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Wow, that pitch wasn't even close, and he almost chased it. If I'm the pitcher, I'm going to expand the zone even more on the next one. And right into the shift, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Misses, ball two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. Oh, that that elevated fastball. Every hitter field. thinks that, hey, they can really? do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Into the box now, Willie Mays. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. and 0. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1-0 home. We're in the seventh now. Four to one our score to this point. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. The one two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. The 2-2 two -two is laid off, and the count runs full. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Two out, nobody on. A swing and a high drive to right center field. A ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Giants down in order. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. So striding forward now, Torres. He flew out in his last at-bat. The second baseman, Labor. First pitch coming, here it is. 
And this is taken outside for ball one. Now some action out in the Giants' bullpen as they'll have both the left-hander and a right-hander get loose. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. All even now. Two and two. Now here it comes. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Torres is retired and there's one away. One gone here in the Yankee seventh. And here is the big hurt, Frank Thomas. First delivery to him on the way. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. That evens it up one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Now the pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Hit down the line at first. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Swing and a miss at the curveball. And there's your second out of the inning. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. I know this guy has a lot of weapons on the mound, but what makes him so successful is that he's aggressive in the zone, getting ahead, forcing action. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they lead it four to one. Ramon Marquez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 52, Hermann Marquez. Here's Chris Bryant now. Previous history with Herman Marquez. Not great, and he's one for eight. First pitch of the at bat. Nope, that's his time. A ball and a strike now. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Into the corner and slicing foul. Full count, three balls and two strikes. Pete Alonzo will be next.
nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first out. Digging in once again, Pete Alonzo. He's two for three and looking for more here. The last at bat, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Strike one to start the at bat. Eighth inning, four to one is our score. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Fastball close but he didn't get it two and one. And now a pitch on the way. He's fallen behind now three and one. Three and two now. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. Now batting. The first base. Oh, man, that yeah. check swing was about as close as they get. Tough call for the umpire, but it goes the batter's way this time, and he draws the walk. Stepping into the box, Matt Olson. He singled his last time up. Has a look, now the pitch. Inside, ball one. The 1-0. -oh. Is belted, and take a look at this. Deep to right center field, and it's gone! So it's a two run shot to right center as it's trimmed to a 4 3 game now. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. So now to the plate, now Emo back. Jimenez. Number 74. Popped him up. Arenado waits on it. And that's the second out of the inning. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Oh, on the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Looks at a fastball low here, and it's full three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Bye-bye, baby. The Giants strike for a pair as you get another look at the two-run dinger. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Yankees four and the Giants three. Now to the plate, Jose Ramirez. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one. Oh, 
Fastball just missed above the zone. 2-0 to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's 2-1. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. Three and one to him now. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eighth. That leadoff walk now is a great catcher. way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Stepping up to the plate, Mitch Garver. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Here's the first pitch to him. Just a tick behind for a strike. Curveball close, but it's one and one. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0 2. One and two to the Yankees catcher. 4 3 our score here as we play the eighth. Still one and two as he fouls it away. From the stretch. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through for this first base hit in this one. But the feed to the second baseman is a wide one. Uh, but the feed of the second baseman is a wild one. Fortunately for him though, no error on the bobble and the runners will hold it first and second now. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. You're Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights now, it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Jose Barrios comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. To the plate now, Fran Reyes. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1 and 0. So far, 2 for 3 in this one. <laughs> 2 and 0 to the Yankees' left fielder. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Three and one. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. First and second here with nobody out. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Oh, that's a walk that could really change the complexion of the game. With the bases loaded, if he gives up a base hit right here, it could get real ugly. Into the box now, Manny Machado. One for two in the ball game thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. 
so important getting ahead with the bases loaded already a difficult situation so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count nothing in one count here it comes here's a late swing and a miss strike two this is a situation where you're going strictly for the strikeout infield in and from the offensive standpoint you're just trying to create hard contact and get it by that infield and here's a ball hit in the air but this will land untouched I'm shocked he was even able to foul that one away. Now he's got to set his sights back over the heart of the plate and maybe be ready for something inside. He'll come home with it. They get the force at the plate. Relay to first is too late, so no double play, but no run now scores. The right field, Hunter Dozier. Now at the plate, Hunter Dozier. He's got an RBI despite an 0-for-2 effort to this point. First pitch of the at bat didn't quite catch the zone there ball one everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitchers intentions are in this situation great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot he's ready here's the 1 0 checks his swing here but he does so in time nowhere to put anybody 2 0 count not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. From the belt, the pitch. Two and one the count. Bases are loaded here, one man out. Man, and he's nowhere near that pitch. It's two and two. Hey, I love the aggressiveness right here and wanting to be a hero. But this is where you got to tell yourself to relax a little bit. I had an old coach tell me one time, when the bases are loaded, just concern yourself with getting the guy in from third. Hit on the ground out to short. Albies scoops it up. There's one. Relay to Olsen. They turn the double play, and that retires the side. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. Mark, Dan, and I are back with more after this. Nick Anderson takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 70, Nick Anderson. All set to start the ninth in this one. In now, Gary Sanchez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Off the plate. One ball, one strike. two strikes hey I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball that was a rainbow coming out of the sky stole the strike the one two is a wave and a miss he struck him out when your closer comes in and strikes out the first guy he faces everyone on the team can kind of take a deep breath still have two more outs to get but retiring that leadoff guy is always huge when you're trying to shut a game down Set and the pitch. Well, a ball of no strikes. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. Well, Perhaps a little low there. It's 2 0. Three as he misses low with it here. 
when you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. A 3-0. Hey. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The right fielder, the third ball. Now back right. to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Mike Trout. A hat trick already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And he goes with the pitch here and drives it the other way to deep right. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position with a two-out double. Everyone knows there are no awards for successfully getting 26 outs. You need to get all 27 before you can start celebrating. That two-out double here in the ninth, putting the equalizer on at second base. A couple minutes ago, this thing looked like it might be over, but everything can change with one swing of the bat. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous, and they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. Stepping into the box, Chris Bryant. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make a man. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. and Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Big spot. Two out, possible tying, and go-ahead runs on base. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. The 1-1. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Machado has it. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. New York took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Walker Bueller earns the victory on the mound. Chris Sale was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasker, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon, first for the